What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I thought we'd do something a little bit more different. A walk and talk. Talk about a Seiko, the Seiko SNK uh, 381K I believe. So I don't need another Seiko. I don't need another Seiko 5. I purchased it uh, with no real expectations. I just needed a watch to modify. And the SNK 381K has a great base to work with. I actually needed the dial for an order, but I'm left with the case. And it's turned out to be my most, uh, or the favorite case I've ever tried in any SNK model. So some basic specifications, it's 37 millimeters in case diameter, 11 millimeters high, 18 millimeters lug to lug width with a stainless bracelet, 21 jewel 7S26 movement, Harlex crystal with a Harlex display back and a 30 meter water resistance so it's good for splashing and rain but don't take it in the water. It has fat lugs, a cushion style case as you can call it, different levels of finishing. It's just my favorite case type of the Seiko 5 line. I prefer it more than the standard SNK 809 case because the lugs are fatter again. I just happen to like fatter lugs. It feels more put together. It's kind of like the old Rolex Submariner cases versus the newer ones. I still prefer the newer cases opposed to the older ones because the newer ones have fatter lugs. They feel more compact on the wrist and they feel more stubby as you can call it. I just like how it's like a cushion. It sits nicer on the wrist in my opinion. And although I had no real expectations for the watch, I've grown to really like it. The dial is actually quite nice. It has numerals, and we don't see numerals that much on watches anymore. It's usually like stick or round indices, and there's nothing wrong with that. I actually prefer that, but it's just nice to see some actual numbers. They're also loomed, and it shines like a torch. The numerals are also outlined in polished stainless, so it has a nice shiny effect. The hands are leaf shaped hands, also outlined in polished stainless and filled with Seiko's Lumibrite. The black Dede wheel also matches the dial quite well. I liked how they used the black wheels instead of the white ones. I hate the Seiko 5 logo. I don't like the 5 badge. I think it completely f the dial. It's not nice to look at. It cheapens up the watch a lot. I feel like it would be a lot nicer if it just had that applied Seiko logo. Look how nice it looks without it. Things I hate the most, I hate adjusting that bracelet. It is the most annoying bracelet to adjust. I'd rather have a pin and collar system opposed to that little L-shaped hook that you have to push out. It's a horrible system. It's hard to do, it takes long to do, and it just pisses me off. But the bracelet itself looks quite nice. It is quite comfortable after you get it adjusted. It's flimsy, but that's what makes it comfortable. It's kind of like the Seiko SKX Jubilee bracelets, how they're poorly made, but they're just so damn comfortable. And that applies to all the Seiko 5 bracelets. Really cheaply made bent steel, but super comfortable. It's kind of like the old Rolex uh, Oyster bracelets and Jubilee bracelets. They're not the best constructed, however, they're really comfortable. And people complain about the clasp being cheap and flimsy, but that just aids in the lightweightness and makes it comfortable to wear. And honestly, for this watch at this price, they're basically just throwing in the bracelet for you. You're paying for the watch in the end. The bracelet's just an added extra. So just to recap, I like the case shape with the fat lugs, the different levels of finishing and edges. That's how the case is brushed and polished. So it looks like they spent a little bit more time in the design and it definitely shows up nicely on the case. The numeral dial in the C's outline in polished steel is actually a nice feature. The torchlight gloom, the loom bright, always, always so bright. Matching black day date wheels and the comfort of the bracelet. So the final question is, should you buy it for under a hundred dollars yeah i mean i don't see why not it's a good looking watch it's pretty comfortable after you get the bracelet sized you get a lot of features for the little amount of money that you spend on it if you lose it you can always replace it it's not 
that much money compared to other watches. And if anything, if you don't like it, it's a great base to start modifying watches from. You have a really nice case, really nice hands, you have a unique dial that can look good on any 7S26 or 4R36 movement or 6R15 or whatever, those Seiko movements. God, it's so hot. In case you didn't know, I've been walking around in circles because I'm trying to think about what to get for lunch. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when I release a new video. Check out my old video somewhere on the screen. Follow me on Instagram at Loomshot. And I'll see you guys in the next one.